There is an outrageous amount of stuff to cover today. So if you're just listening to me, take a quick peek at the screen so that you can see all of the topics that we're going to be talking about, as well as all of the timestamps for each of these will be down in the description. Or if you look at the bottom of the little timeline here, you can see what we are going to be talking about at what time period. So this right here is very quick. It's just grabbing an RTX 4090 at the lowest price that we have seen in a very, very long time. I'll go ahead and toss a link to this down in the description below if anybody would like to go and grab the actual graphics card. But that's really all I need to say about this article. It's just a very cheap RTX 4090. This right here, again, very simple to cover. This is something we've known about for a while right now but they're finally going to be available and i think that this is very cool because it actually reminds me of the galax graphics cards where this is like one of the only cards that has like the rgb stuff going on and then the top plate looks like some sort of cyberpunk futuristic type of thing going on that's it's actually pretty cool that i am literally about to build a computer with the 40 with the graphics card that i was literally thinking of um but anyways that's really all i need to say about this make sure that you stay up to date follow gigabyte on twitter and their social media platforms that way you can actually grab one of these things before it's just completely gone this right here amd rdna4 really quickly i need to i want to address the elephant in the room and i actually posted this on twitter just so i can show you guys this is what that the video from the other day that I literally had to delete like probably like 50 comments on it being clickbait. This is how the video was performing. We basically hit our limit because there's not many people that are that are aware of what RDNA 4 is. So it kind of like hit the audience cap there. And then is the moment that I change it to 5090 and 8900 XTX, those are more searchable, dude. Those are those are like they're heavy on the keywords. And poof literally like with like you so dude like you got to understand man yes i'm fully aware that the 8900 xtx is not even going to be available it's not going to be for sale i understand that it's literally all i did i changed the word and it went from like a couple thousand views to literally like like five thousand views within an hour <laughs> after it being uploaded for like for almost over a full for like almost two days Anyways, Sea of Thieves reportedly a uh, quote unquote key test for more Xbox games on PS5. This is just bound to happen because Xbox, just like AMD, they're not, they're like, they're not even going to attempt to compete with Sony anymore. And they're very smart for doing this. Basically, for those of you that are unaware of this right now, Xbox is going to be moving into the cloud side of stuff. So basically, they're going to be bringing Game Pass to PlayStation or they're going to try to sony kind of sucks and sony is whatever sony is sony so they probably won't do this but you get my point game pass is really what they're going to be focusing on and it's understandable why sony wouldn't let that be on their console because ps plus kind of sucks which is one of the articles that we're going over here so next up is uh but anyways so what i wanted to say this is like it's bound to happen xbox isn't going to be making a console anymore so there's i mean it's going to be a battle between playstation and nintendo so acer unveils the predator x49 ultra wide gaming monitor with 240 hertz so this is a qd oled panel i'm pretty sure that this is 1440p this is not the 4k yeah okay so this is the 1440p well, technically it's 4K, but you're going to be looking at a 1440p image um, because it's such a big monitor. Uh, but technically, I guess it is 4K if, if you really want to get technical about it. However, dude, these monitors are insane. I would I would still have my Samsung Odyssey. Um, I just I I really do. I love making content for you. But again, dude, like if you go look at my review of the best 4K 144 hertz monitors under 500 bucks, there's like no views. It's like no views. But if I clickbait like some sort of like, oh, why OLED is so much better or OLED versus whatever. It's like, so you get my point, man. I'm just trying to be AMD Ryzen 7 8700F and the 8400F China exclusive AM5 processors have been quote unquote tested so if we come down here this is the part that we need to be going over you guys can check this out right here so we have the 8700f so this is the the tests and then this right here is just the desktop apus and whatever the the core threads base clock graphics gpu and then up here is all the tests in comparison to the 8700g and then the 7500f so you guys can go ahead and get a, get an idea 
on all this stuff but that's really all i need to say about that so this right here qualcomm claims superiority over the apple m3 and intel meteor lake and the amd phoenix i'm very curious i'm very curious to see how far this can go that's still crazy bro wow so adreno gpu to be fair like if you've played like games on a phone man there you go like you see i have the samsung s24 ultra and that plays some i mean that plays games pretty well like i can emulate gamecube i can emulate switch i can emulate the nintendo's i like i can emulate and like i can also like add like like graphical i don't really play mobile like android games um i like the emulation side of stuff it's i'm just an emulation nerd i like older stuff it's what i grew up with uh but anyways man any of the, the people here that have an android i already covered this you 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 can understand why this is so exciting for me is because playing game and like even if you like bluetooth like your whatever game over to your your screen or you use like samsung decks or or decks or whatever it basically turns your phone into a computer when you plug the phone into a tv or, or a monitor or something uh but i know you so those people will understand why that's so cool so right here playstation plus free games lineup for may is potentially off to a bad start apparently all right we go skull the hero slayer minecraft legends immortals of avium but anyways so generative artificial intelligence is simply a waste of our time and money please tell me you think this is stupid agi is a waste of our time and money okay a robotic appears on stage as nvidia ceo jensen huang delivers a keynote address during the nvidia gtc artificial intelligence conference at sap center so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check this out so while i talk about this if any of you have not seen this you will be like mind blown go to youtube go to the search bar and type in boston dynamics do they literally have like robot like like war like war robots like doing backflips and like literally like like as they're like wrecking like they're out in like these like gun zones dude and these ai robots are like they're identifying their teammates as they like shoot the enemies and then they're like their teammates are literally like pushing it around and it's been trained to like only like fight the enemies it is insane i'm not gonna like open up a browser like if you look at boston dynamics a lot of you have probably seen this because every single video they upload gets millions of views and it's they're getting millions of views for a reason dude and it's like what those things are doing like it's like if you think that like watching uh i want to say gymnastics but that's not what i'm thinking the if you like watch what is the event there with gymnastics Oh my god well you got you understand uh world world whatever oh my goodness why can i it's a brain fart that i'm having right now the where the, like they got like ten, or they got like the track people running and then they got like the people with the poles that like jump up over the things and then they got like the pole throwers and why can i not think of the freaking word of that but anyways you guys get my point like like these like robots that they they're creating dude hold on i got i actually have to show you this Boston Dynamics army robot I like I actually have to show you this okay okay this is it right here it's freaking insane please YouTube don't copyright me I'm gonna be out of my I'm gonna get really mad like if you look at tech linked if you look at Linus tech tips if you look at gamers meld is another one he's really bad but I still watch his videos because he makes good content uh, he's a little bit of an AMD fanboy but whatever man we all like our own stuff i personally don't care who is who it just whoever has the best thing is what i like that's really all you know like can you guys see why i would do that like i'm a creator and it's okay the video's doing well maybe maybe i got away with it but then it flatlined and that's not normal that's not normal for videos to do this and the reason the video flatlined so this is like it's crazy what changing a single word in a title can do on youtube literally do you cannot edit a post like you can't edit a post on twitter this is literally what i posted okay so it's curiosity loops and then toying with emotions equals a perfect skyrocketing title that's what happens dude so 
again dude most people seem to respect it you know to be like on average the like clickbaitier type videos they like get like 80 percent like to dislike ratio i really don't care but yesterday's video dude it was like 50 percent, and i just don't understand that i just don't understand that and like if people were like commenting oh dude like this video is clickbait then i wouldn't care i just wouldn't care but it was like it was comments like oh this guy's clickbait he's a freaking idiot he doesn't understand that the 8900 xtx isn't even going to be a thing when i literally have like all kinds of other videos talking about amd not like and I, I get it, dude. I really do. I understand everybody is five years old now and they have the attention span of a chipmunk. I meant that in literal manners. That was not a joke. I mean that, dude. Like, people are just like... Not intelligent anymore. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you. Peace.